What's up guys? I'm Kevin Zellman, your resident voice mega mega super fan. Love the show. Um, we just got off of the conference call with all of the advancing artists. Um, so I'm here to tell you everything that they were saying, what they felt before they got on stage for the battles, uh, when the verdict was announced for the battles, what was going through their head, all of that. Um, so we're going to start today's episode, or this episode I should say, with Team Pharrell. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so he paired Evan McKeel versus Riley Beatier. Um, they performed Higher Ground by Stevie Wonder. And if you remember, during Evan's performance, he had a four, or his blind audition, he had a four chair turn. Once the chairs were turned, Pharrell's talking to him and goes like, who are your musical inspirations? He says, Stevie Wonder. He says, well, can you sing a few bars? So he does, knocks it out of the park. So right off the bat, I kind of felt like this could have been a very unfair song choice for the battle um, because it is definitely in Evan's wheelhouse. Um, it was definitely more suited for Evan is what I should say. Um, uh, Riley told everyone that she did not want to battle Evan. That was like the last person she wanted to go against because she knew how good she was. So when she found out, she was like, let's do it. It's a challenge. In life, there's challenges. In this industry, there's challenges. So let's do it. Um, Evan ended up winning the battle, which we could have all suspected just from the song choice itself, even though Riley is so unbelievably talented. This girl, oh my god, she's a powerhouse. Um, but the good news is Gwen used her last steal on Riley, so she's still in the competition. So we were just talking with both of them on the phone. Riley, she was saying um, that she did definitely feel like an underdog going up against Evan because he was a four chair turn and it was a little intimidating for her, but she tried to find the things that she was good at, like the runs and the big notes that she did in her battle performance. Um, and she really tried to show that off, but she was not shocked that Evan won and she didn't definitely did not expect to get stolen, especially because she's walking off stage when Gwen decided to use her steel. Um, she had no idea about the steel. She had no idea how many were left. She had no idea who even had a steel, if there were any. So she went in thinking like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to sing. If I don't win, it's the end of the journey. It was a great ride, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, she found out there's a steal left because she's on Team Gwen now. She was stolen. Um, she was saying that the steal, it was such an intense feeling and that when Evan won, she definitely wasn't mad. She definitely wasn't upset about any of it. All she wanted to do was just to go out and hug Evan afterwards. That's what she couldn't wait to do. Um, so once Gwen pressed her button, it completely caught her off guard. And Gwen was her depending on it was her first or second choice. It was her between her and Pharrell. So just the fact she had to work with her top two artists that she wanted, she was saying that she's just beyond excited and just so blessed she gets this opportunity. Um, but with Evan, he was saying that the toughest part was competing against people that they really like. He really likes Riley, so it's hard to compete against her. Um, when you spend time with these people and the a lot of time that you get to do for it, like whether you're rehearsing for the battles, it's hard because you know most likely that one of you guys will be going home. But you always want to continue the journey together, so they got the best of both worlds. Um, Riley was actually one of the first people he met prior to the blind, blind auditions, probably when they're sitting waiting that cattle call waiting to be called up to perform. Um, so it was extra hard going up against her, needless to say. Um, they prayed whoever w didn't make it would get stolen. Their prayers were answered. Um, uh, but yeah, it was, it was a great one. And Evan, he was saying that once he saw Missy Elliott, that it was so unbelievably awesome. They're both from Virginia. Uh, Pharrell and Missy are both from Virginia, which is where Evan is from. So they had that instant connection. And just, he said, just that instant connection that you have with these two huge artists, that alone is just mind boggling for him because he never thought he would be in that situation. What he was was a complete sponge. Everything he said, he took in and he absorbed it and he used it and is going to try to remember that for him to go forward with his musical career. Um, so next for Team Pharrell was Amy Vachel versus Jubal and Amanda, and they sang the iconic To Love Somebody. And um, Amy and Jubal, they both had guitars in their rehearsal. And Missy Elliott said, I want to try something here. 
put down your guys' as a guitar and let's try singing it without them because I feel like you're using them as a crutch a little bit. So they put them down and it was way better. They didn't even use the guitars during the um, actual battle performance. Because I don't know if you guys know, but if you play a musical instrument, sometimes you, you just like to continue to play that for every song because that's your comfort. You're comfortable doing that. You're not gonna be sitting there awkward with the mic stand trying to dance around doing who knows what so it's very comfortable for them so this whole competition is trying to get you out of your comfort zone and that's exactly what missy ellie was trying to have them do by putting down their guitars um very surprising here amy ended up winning the battle not jubal and amanda which i thought they were going to because it's really hard for someone to go up against a duo. We talked about this with Andy and Alex. It's hard to get in with that chemistry that the duo already has. So really good for Amy right there. Um, she was saying on our conference call that her mentality, it kind of changed after she knew she was going to be singing against two people. But she definitely liked having the challenge because she didn't know when she would have a challenge like that again in her life. Um, so preparing for the battle... On Amy's side and Jubilee and Amanda's side, there were a lot of changes with the arrangement of song and all of that. So she wanted to make it her own performance, but also wanted to make it her own with them. So they had to find a cohesive unit for that performance. Um, and it was a little more difficult to make it cohesive because there were changes on Amy's side, there were changes on Jubilee and Amanda's side. So they had to come together and try to find the middle ground that the three of them are comfortable with. Um, she felt like it's extra hard for someone like her to attack a song like this because she attacks her song she likes to strip them down more she's more of an a i don't know if this is the right term but she's more of an acoustic singer she doesn't have a huge voice she has a very soft very beautiful very great voice compared to jubal and amanda who are able to belt the notes which amy is able to belt the notes out too but jubal and amanda they have that more commanding more powerful voice so i think that's what amy was trying to get at um, so the arrangement of the song required her to step up specifically in volume, she was saying. Uh, throughout the weeks of rehearsing, she said that she was crying, she sweat over the song like you wouldn't believe, and it just came to a point where she said, you know what, it's going to be what it's going to be, hopefully the outcome's in my favor, and let's just see what happens. Obviously, it worked, whatever she did worked, she needs to continue to do that because she's great, I want to see her go forward in this competition for sure. Um, but yeah, so that is... The end of the battles for The Voice Season 9. We're on to the knockouts next week with key advisor Rihanna, who will be helping each coach with their artist. I am a huge Rihanna fan, so I am beyond excited for that. Um, make sure you guys tune in next week. Make sure you guys watch all of the other videos here on the Hollywood Junket on YouTube for each team and their battle pairings. Uh, but yeah, so until then, tweet me at Kevin Zellman, at the Hollywood, or at Hollywood Junket, I'm sorry, at Hollywood Junket. And let's talk about The Voice because until Monday... I need to talk. I still need to talk about the voice, guys. Uh, so tweet me. I'll see you guys next time.